Hey guys, so I want to put this message out. I just got home from the gym and I wanted to put this message out before I, you know, I went inside and got started on what I had to do and got sleepy and too tired to put the message out. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I did receive a message on Friday. So Holy Spirit woke me up Friday morning and I heard 12th Revelation. And after that, specifically, I heard Revela uh, Revelation 12, 12. So I knew that God wanted me to read the whole chapter. And specifically, he wanted me to focus on 12, 12. So after I got that message, I just, you know, took my time putting up the message because I wanted God to keep downloading what he wanted me to say to you guys. So basically, some of you guys are about to give birth to something that is so great god has placed something inside of you that is so big and so great and the devil is mad he's mad and his time is short he's mad about it and he's waiting on you to give birth to this thing that god has placed inside of you so that he can devour it and destroy it He's trying to stop you from giving birth. And if you do push through and give birth to what God has placed inside of you, he's waiting to destroy it. Okay, so the whole thing of it is what God wants you to know is everything around you may be falling apart. It seems like you may be going through so much right now. Maybe he, um, he's taking, taking you away from family and friends because he wants you to be in another place of peace and he's taking you to your promised land some of you guys have had to move you've lost family and friends along the way um and your life is just shaking up you may have lost homes vehicles jobs a lot of people are just going through it and it's because the devil is mad he's mad he's trying to stop you from giving birth to this big old big old thing that god has placed inside of you that is so big and so great that and some of you don't even know that you are pregnant with this thing whether you are a male or a female it's like you're in labor right now. You're having labor pains. Everything around you may seem like it's falling apart. You may, it may seem like you can't catch a break. It may, it may seem like people are against you on the job. I don't know, in the church, in your neighborhood, um, in your family. It may just seem like people are against you. But the devil and his adversaries their job is to get you to stop pushing to get you to stop trying to push that baby out that thing inside of you that god has placed inside of you the devil is trying to get you to quit pushing he don't want you to give birth to that because he know if you give birth to it then he's lost and there's a battle between good and evil you're on the winning team now god told me this a while back you've already won you've already won he just needs you to keep pushing keep pushing don't give up everything around you seems so hard but it's only the devil he's mad and he's trying to stop you don't let the devil stop you it's time for you to glow up it's time for you to glow up. It's time for the blessings to rain down from heaven. It's time for y'all to break generational curses. It's time for y'all to live y'all best life ever. The devil mad. The devil is mad. But I got so happy when I got this message because the whole main thing that God wants you to know is that the devil is running out of time. He's running out of time. Time is up. It's about to be put to an end. God ain't, he's not playing around with the devil. The devil time is running out. He specifically read, led me to 12, 12. And I want you guys to read it. I want you to read uh, Revelation 12, 12. But the whole Revelation 12, 
the enemy is trying to devour he's trying to destroy that great thing that god has placed inside of you you may not even know what it is but you know that your life is being shaken up you know that so much is happening around you and the devil you know his main objective his main goal is to get inside of your head is to get inside of your head and to make you think that you can't do something or to make you think that okay well nobody else in my family has ever done this so how can i do it or just to make you think that you're not good enough or to make you think that you know you're not called to do a specific thing that's the whole his whole thing is to get inside of your head and to stop you from pushing to stop you from giving birth to that thing and you know it because you feel it on the inside of you you feel like there's something more you feel like there's something inside of you that's great you don't know you may not even know what it is but you feel something god is leading you he's 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 calling you and he's placed something inside of you i'm trying to tell you i wish y'all could just i feel it in the spirit he has placed something so big and so great inside of you you don't even know how big it is you can't even words can't even describe how y'all are about to glow up it don't words can't even describe how blessed you're about to be some of you you didn't even ask to be this blessed how blessed you're going to be you know you didn't some of y'all don't even want all the attention you're about to receive all you want to do is just go somewhere and live in peace you don't want all the attention you didn't ask for all the attention you're not used for you know you're a humble person all you want to do is live your life and don't bother nobody and just be in peace and you know be financially stable you know and a lot of you guys i'm trying to tell you you just don't even understand you don't understand how blessed you're about to be i don't know whether god's bringing you a kingdom marriage and it's just going to be so blessed it's going to be so beautiful or he's bringing you that child that you've been praying for and you're about to give birth to a new business venture or a ministry or you're about to start a youtube channel or you're about to i i don't know write a book whatever it is god has placed something inside of you that is so great and you're going through it right now because the devil is mad he's trying to stop you he don't want the good team to win you're on the winning team you're on the winning team you've already won you just got to keep pushing you just got to keep going the devil the devil's running out of time the devil is running out of time he don't have long God just needs you to push. You may be in the wilderness, but he's taking care of you in the wilderness. He's taking care of you. He's still providing for you. He's still protecting you. He's still looking out for you. Jesus is walking with you. Even when it don't feel like it, you can't feel it. He's walking with you. He's with you. The devil's running out of time. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. You are so blessed. You're about to give birth to something that is so big. Something that is beyond your imagination. Big things you never imagined that you can do. Just hold on. The devil is running out of time. He don't have long to be running around here bothering people. Keep messing with God's children. That's his job though. He's doing his job. He's doing exactly what he sets out to do. To cause wrath in your life. But we rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. We know that he don't have long. We just got to keep holding on. Keep pushing. God wants, God wants you to know that the devil is running out of time. So don't lose hope don't give up it's about to be so beautiful keep praying to god just thanking him every day thanking him that you wake up to see another day and that's a day closer to you giving birth to this big old beautiful thing that he's placed inside of you that's growing and growing and some of you don't even know is inside of you but it's inside of you 
The devil is waiting to destroy, but you are highly protected and blessed. He's running out of time, so everything that you're going through is about to end. His time is short. So I just wanted to come on and tell y'all because I just could not rest <laughs> until I got that out. But I want y'all to know I love y'all. Jesus loves y'all. God loves you. And you are highly protected. Keep pushing. Talk to you guys later. Bye.